In the news business, we report on diverse stories. Natural disasters are a news cycle after news cycle. Celebrities tantalize. Yet in every community, including my hometown of Cary, there are some hidden treasures, stories of people who persevere, people who reach out to help others. The volunteers and staff at Dorcas Ministries are just such a story. Back in 1968, kindergarten did not exist for low-income children in western Wake County. A local resident, Margaret Keller, thought all children deserved an equal opportunity to learn and achieve. Her idea? Create a consortium of concerned and loving people who would provide that chance. Margaret organized a diverse group of individuals, family, friends, and businesses, and church leaders to support and fund this kindergarten project. A kindergarten classroom was provided by Mount Zion Baptist Church, and Dorcas Ministries volunteers transported the children to school. The outcome, a first success, which grew a garden of opportunities to provide help where it counted. From its humble beginnings, operating from a closet in a warehouse on Cedar Street, Dorcas Ministries, a 501c3, has outgrown its seventh home and plans to move in late summer. The Dorcas Thrift Shop, the Crisis Center, Food Pantry, Donation Drop-Off, Sorting and Administration Offices will relocate to Cary Plaza, that's at 187 High House Road. A few years ago, we recognized that we'd outgrown this building. If you've ever visited, you know that parking and donating material goods is a real challenge. We committed to expanding our services and purchase Carrier Plaza on High House Road with a view to the future of creating a nonprofit hub, providing additional resources that people need, accessible by C-Tran or private vehicles. The Dorcas Thrift Shop will double its floor space, expand parking from 37 to 250 spaces, and over the long term, create a center for other nonprofits to provide a wide range of services that are currently not available in Western Wake County. Our town, Cary, North Carolina, has the opportunity to lift up and rebuild people. If everyone who lives in the town of Cary helps Dorcas Ministries achieve their campaign goal, which is $3 million in three years, it would be another unique moment in Cary history. Neighbors helping neighbors. I hope you'll consider using your time, talent, and treasure to show that you care for those who are in need. During the last five years, Dorcas Ministries distributed nearly $2 million in emergency assistance for housing, gas, electric, water, daycare, and health emergencies to more than 37,000 people and also provided job link support services to folks looking for employment. People from all income levels, some of whom were once contributors and whose economic fortunes changed in a downturned economy. People who earn minimum wage while costs continue to rise. And single parent households who, at best, often struggle. Your neighbors who have a critical, temporary need and who can live with hope because you and I support the mission of Dorcas. I train staff and volunteers who assess their needs and determine what kind of assistance we can provide. Our goal is to help people who are in our local area experiencing a temporary financial hardship. And we want to give them just a little extra breathing room while they're working their way out of a crisis by helping with an electric bill, a portion of the rent, or some other emergency need. At the age of 30, I realized that I needed to go back to college in order to pursue a new career path. Um, God used many people and organizations during those difficult years to provide for all my needs, and one of those organizations is Dorcas Ministries. They provided me with $750 to apply toward tuition, and thanks in part to their generosity, I was able to graduate in May of 2010 with a double major bachelor's degree. How does this 43-year-old service organization maintain its ability to provide funds for these services? Well, through their annual campaign and the Dorcas Thrift Shop. We rely on the community to bring their unused or outgrown household and personal goods to our drop-off. Volunteers sort, price, and place these donations on the racks and shelves, making them available for purchase. We also sell more valuable items on eBay. Funds raised go directly into the emergency services we provide. 
Currently occupying 4,500 square feet, the shop sells clothes for men, women, and children, small appliances, books, fabrics, shoes, CDs, bric-a-brac, and household goods like furniture and dishes. The income from these sales is distributed to crisis needs in Cary and Morrisville. What's amazing about Dorcas Ministries is the low overhead. 90 cents of every dollar donated goes to emergency needs while the Dorcas shop counts on an army-sized company of volunteers, nearly 250 people who work at sorting books, CDs, and DVDs, turn seasonal items into works of art, repair small electronic appliances. The new dream is bigger than a closet, and it can become a reality if we all get involved. Dorcas Ministries needs your help. Western Wake is filled with generous hearts for helping others. We pray that you will join this campaign today so that we can continue to be helping hands in this community. Large or small, please send a check today to the address on the screen. Your gift for this important cause is most appreciated.